What's going on fam, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator Lucky Murray And I'm back with another CHH today And guys, I did not plan to make a video I did not plan to make a video I was on IG and I stumbled upon this news that I want to share with my fans And before I get started, please people The people that call this gossip This is not particularly gossip Gossip well, you can have your own opinion, but this is news that I found that is public news that you may or may not heard of, and I present to you in a talking point, okay? I give you my opinion. If it's my opinion, I will let you know, especially it's my opinion, but if it's something that I get from the web, from somebody's social media site, I report it as is. I give you examples on the screen so that you can follow it. But let's get into this news, man. So, man, it's uh, I was a little shocked by this, but apparently, What Up RG and Kid Triss has not really a beef, but What Up RG has some type of feelings towards Kid Triss, and I'm not I'm not sitting here saying that it's a hate. Or the fact that he doesn't like him I'm not putting those words in his mouth But there's apparently Something that's been going on That What Up RG does not Find very amusing When it comes to Kid Triss Now if you don't know Kid, Tr Kid Triss Excuse me He is kind of blow up, Blowing up in the Christian hip hop world With his not so What's the word I can put it His not so Orthodox style is very unorthodox. It's a style that a lot of newer generations is using. He is a really an out of the box kind of Christian rapper. He had a song, people was messing with it, and it kind of got some traction in the Christian hip hop world. It was almost like Zanti's hit last year, "God Taught Me," but this hit has not been as big. But he started catch traction. Every time I see him doing an IG video, he has between 2,500 and 3,000 likes. He has a lot of people following him. But, the younger artists, I want you to take notes. A lot of time to get clout, a lot of people, is what a lot of people do. They go to a particular artist that they may sound quite alike, and they go and they follow that person fan base that they think that they would like their stuff. And I used to do this for a while. I would be following people, following people, following people. I go to Lecrae and I'm like, okay, let me follow his fans too. So that way I can get my numbers up. And I only realized that it's not about the numbers, but it's about the engagement, the impact, and and the RIO, the return on investment that you have between your marketing dollars and the money that you get back. So you can have 50 fans, but all those 50 fans buy a $20 product from you. You made a whole lot of money than having 200,000 fans and only 10 people brought. But so Kid Triss apparently has been doing this. He's been on IG especially and, and has been following What Up RG fans for a strategy so that more people can find out about What Up. I mean, Kid Triss. Has this work or not? I don't know. I know that he is gaining a lot of traction. So somebody gave What Up RG a question. In the IG question box And he said Pleasant Hill questions He said not for Pleasant Hill But why do you have beef with Kid Triss It was unknown who presented the question And what if RG answered it as truthfully as possible He said no beef I blocked Triss because he kept following my followers So they would follow him back People who obviously don't know who he was And I didn't respect anybody who treats my supporters like any number or stat. I value every one of you. I'm grateful for y'all following me. I'm not going to let the clout chasing get... Uh, I'm not going to let the clout chasing get to y'all. I love all love though. So, he's basically saying that, hey, he feel like that this is clout chasing, which you have to understand one thing, okay? What up RG has develop his tribe okay he's worked very hard to get where he's at now i wasn't the biggest fan of pleasant hill the album but i do like what up rg as an artist i feel as though he is 
really on the rise he has a very unique style i just feel like a lot of the elements that he had on pleasant hill could have been done on a full length album these short eps become really short so <laughs> i don't all i'm saying is that i do like what up rg as a, as a fan and he gave his honest opinion so kid tris commented below and said wow i just wanted to be the best of friends with at what up rg but he thinks i'm a clout chaser when in reality you guys are like family to me i'm getting so much hate now i just going to stop making music till next time to everyone else always believe in me uh, to everyone else believe in your dreams and then Ruslan said chill rg is trying to call you so dj db45 said no bro, bro don't quit so a lot of people were just giving him just encourage your words even what up rg said yo call me don't quit shaking my head and this is the age that we have as far as newer artists okay if one person blocks you from a particular site you have his number it's that's the crazy part what up rg and kid tris has numbers so that means that they've been socializing that means they've been talking okay what up rg probably been giving kid tris the game you know they probably got a collab or something going on so it's not like it's a particular artist like myself who is not that known in the christian hip-hop community i'm talking about the one bigger than the local market kid tris has a pretty nice size following and what up rg was just saying look he's not with the clout chasing he respects his fans he appreciates if somebody doesn't just come leech off them and try to get them based off numbers in which that is clout chasing and for a person just to be like yo i'm just gonna quit music it says a lot about a why are you doing this i that's the problem that i don't understand i feel like somebody should not have that much power over you to make you quit doing something that god has given you point example today i had a, a concert at the teen summer camp that i was working on so i had my teenagers and i had eight nine years so the eight nine years are really getting into my music everybody locally pretty much is is getting a hang of my music and i'm very pleased because i've been pouring into this community um and this network for a few years now and a couple of the teens is like boo blah 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 just saying different stuff and i had one guy yawn in the middle of it if i did not know why i was doing this i would have been so discouraged by the particular performance i would have never performed again ever in life i would just been like well it's not meant for me what was me blah 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 but i was like hey somebody's being affected whether it's one person or a hundred thousand people a hundred million people god has ordained me to do this particular ministry to these particular people and i feel like if if it's a greater call music should not just be something that you do just to have a status symbol in life a lot of people we love the serving of god and we let that replace the actual relationship with god you know we, we fantasize and we idolize the service part whether that's music whether that's ministry whether it's preaching whether it's feeding the homeless what what no matter what it does as far as what god has us to do as followers of the way we can idolize that instead of idolizing the creator and having a relationship with him and i think that if your relationship is bigger than no matter what nobody says if you if god knows your heart and he knows your intentions i don't care who says what when and why that should never give you a reason to quit and it's a scary trend man because in the national media especially national hip-hop a lot of the, the artists they take it so personal when somebody a doesn't just doesn't agree with them b has a different standard of opinion they get so upset that they really want to quit like literally like all the things that you've done you just want to quit and for you to put that out there publicly it's like look bro you you, you got to be careful about what you put out there understand that that's something that you feel but the bible speaks of is a brother wrong does we go to that brother ourselves so what up rg maybe or maybe not he should have put that out in a random question 
y'all please be the judge of that do you think what up rg should have put that out on jump street i'm thinking hey a fan asked him a question he was responding truthfully because he sees these people as supporters and also as family because a lot of these guys help pay what up rg bills and kid trish felt offended by that do you think kid trish instead of posting this yo i'm about to quit situation on ig do you think that he should have reached out and called my man with a party do you think this is blown out of proportion i need for you to know because CHH Day fam, you know what time it is. Just always go down in the comment section. I am curious to hear what you have to say. So, again, it has been the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, and I'm back with another CHH Today. And yes, the podcast is popping. Please go down to the link below. Listen to that thing. I am moving my podcast from SoundCloud to another station in the next few weeks. So please be on the lookout for that. But also, Kid Trish, never ever if you're watching this video do not give up if this is something god has ordained you to do you have to do it because it will come around again and again and again what up rg is right you cannot follow his followers to try to get your count up you have way more buzz than that that people would just start coming to you if you continue to be authentically you because you wouldn't want somebody else that's trying to make a name for themselves in the Christian hip hop genre and they latch on to your fans because they think that hey we sound alike like nah bro some people may like you because of that but let it happen organically what do you think comment below until next time people